Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Taegon Wang. Uh, this video message is made to share my reflection on daily reading of the scripture. I'm planning to send it out once a week. As our church members read the upper room daily, I would like to share September 11th reading today. This reading led me to an inspiration on how to be encouraged in time of suffering. Scriptural passages from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. In the upper room, Christian Adika from Georgia shares her story of the painful conditions of her eyesight. When she was a young child, she was diagnosed with several conditions that um, affected her eyes, joints, and blood vessels. Though she took full medications and surgeries, she eventually lost her sight in her right eye. And after four years, she lost sight in her left eye, becoming completely blinded. She mentions about her disappointment and honest feeling that faith didn't really help in her ailment. But she now confesses her thankfulness to God and the blessings she has received. She does not say there is any beneficial aspect in suffering at all. Rather, she talks about patience. She says, I'm thankful for God's blessings, but while the scripture says we should have patience in suffering, I just want the surgeries and pain to end. Then she shared her story at the prison ministry. She shared it in front of a gymnasium full of women. Everyone was silent, listening to her testimony of her life. When her sharing was to end, she could hear, Amen, Hallelujah. And the women came forward and hugged her with tears in their eyes. This experience at the prison ministry widened her perspective. Her words afterwards shared in the story touched me a lot. Perhaps when suffering does not refine our own faith, it can offer inspiration for others. It is a lesson that inspired me. My life can offer inspiration for others. How amazing and beautiful it is to say I can inspire people, even in my desperate and helpless situations in life. Then I look into my life asking myself, what part of life is being used for inspiration uh, to others. I remember three, four years ago when I visited one family of church members. I had, she had a stroke and he couldn't be involved in mysteries like he did before. He had to deal with little things that he could not do by himself. That was really frustrating to him. I visited him, but there was not much I could do. But his expectation was not big, but important. He wanted to have worship time together. He uh, wanted to be fed spiritually. We sat together and sang hymns. I continued to sing hymn after hymn. We sang, he wept, and we sang together. We read the scripture together, and I shared a message. 
It seems that it is a routine for a pastor to have service time together with the family at visitation. But it wasn't a routine for him. It was a revival time for his soul. Since then, whenever we meet, we say, revival again? And he says, yes, which means visitation and hymn singing together. My routine, my story, everything I experience in life can be the means of grace through which others find blessings in their lives. We can inspire others because we have stories of God's presence in our lives. I pray that all of the Hackensack Church members may see God's story in your life and inspire others as well as encouragement for yourself. God bless you.